Welcome back to Three Bros and Sissy, and Billy's going down the shaft. <laughs> Rocky likes it. Jason likes it. Which, which, uh, no, no. Oh yeah. By the way, um, for those that don't know, the original, and, and I don't have c confirmation of this. It's just what everybody's been saying and such. And Thomas, you can look this up later if you want to, uh, for confirmation. After Power Rangers, the guy that played Jason in the series, the first Red Ranger, apparently went into gay pornography after uh, after Power Rangers. I no, I don't want to see a picture. The camera really did play for. Yes, she did. Uh, I forget her name, and we were actually talking about that at uh, ICD, weren't we? Uh huh. Okay, I'll, here's a good question for you. Since we're talking about, apparently all we're going to be talking about is Power Rangers through the Power Rangers playthrough, but I don't care. We're talking about Beetleborgs. <laughs> I did not honestly care for Beetleborgs. It was okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah, concept of comic At least it wasn't VR Troopers. I mean, what? <laughs> I like Which, did you know that they actually were wanting to cast Tommy Oliver, or not Tommy Oliver? Oh, shoot. <laughs> Jason David Frank as the leader for VR Troopers? Mm -hmm. Yep. Did you tell me that, or...? Yep. Us, though. Thomas is, like, full of awesome ranger trivia. This is true. You do know quite a few things that are just out there interesting that could honestly be any sort of trivia question on Jeopardy, for all we know. Shut up, Jeep. Okay, but anyway, my question. Besides Mighty Morphin, out of the ones that you've either partially watched or fully watched, what is your favorite series besides Mighty Morphin? Well, that's kind of hard for me to answer because I somewhat hated Zio growing up just because of that like it. Going back now, I love the concept of it. Um, Turbo after Turbo is like, no, I'm not. Turbo sucked, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, I will say this, Sentai though. Yeah, because you, you watch more of the Sentai, right? Yeah, I, I, see, I'm not even sure I'm going to say all the Gagiver ones. Super Gagiver. They were the best ones, in my opinion, because this was their Ranger concept on so Okay, I'll give you that. Because I've, I've never really watched the Sentai, so I can't really give my two cents on that one. But as far as the Americanized versions, um, one that I really got into, and I can't really explain why, I liked Wild Force. A lot. It was really good. What's Wild Force? Wild Force um, was the. Um, I'm trying to think when that happened. It was around the time of time. It was right after Time Force happened. Is it on Netflix? Yes. Yeah, yes, it is. I'm actually going in order, so Turbo. I'm not going to watch it. <laughs> yeah, Turbo. I'm sorry. Turbo. Does anybody that likes Turbo, you know, no offense to you guys or anything like that, we just think it sucks. That's our own opinion. Take it, take it or leave it. Take it with a grain of salt. You know? But, uh, Wild Force is good. Um, I will say this. Mega Force and Super Mega Force are amazing. It's a very retro feel to the original series. Like, they try to go back to the, their roots. Even though I will say, you know, bringing back a character named Ernie, who's not even Ernie, is kind of pushing it, people. But, you know, the, 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 you know, the concept of Super Mega Force, which, ironically enough, is a, a lot different from, well, okay, about halfway different from the actual Sentai Gokaiser Rangers. Mm -hmm. And, um, because in the Sentai, there are two separate teams from the Mega Force and the Super Mega Force. Right. Which I forget what they call the, the regular Mega Force in the Sentai. But, um... In the American version, Mega Force gets the Super Mega Force powers. Like the, they're the, it's the same team, right? And they just use Sentai footage from Go Kaiser, which they're able to pull off because the Go Kaisers can um, also duplicate the Mega Force Rangers. Right. So it kind of makes sense. Oh, that. Yeah, it's the gnome. It's Nomi. It's 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 the uh, Travelocity gnome, <laughs> or, what, or, or, or whatever uh, airline he uh, helps uh, advertise. You know what I mean? A wonderful ant bunny. Yeah, you, you know what I'm talking about, don't you? Yeah. 
It's it's like uh, don't take don't leave me here, something like that. Ah, he's got the accordion. accordion of doom. It is an accordion of doom. It's a bad accordion, bad gnome. I wish really just... wondered something. What? This sound really nasty, but it's, it's what I've always wondered. I swear to God, if it's one of those, uh, I think I just wasted my bomb. No, I got him a bit. If it's one of those, if a monkey poops! When Finster made the monster, did he make an anime correct? Or if so, did he just like, did he make the monster? I don't think that he had genitalia in mind. In my own, own honest opinion. I don't opinion. know, Finster seems like a pervert. Oh, hey, speaking of which, did you know that Robert Axelrod also voiced Finster before he voiced Lord Zed? Yeah. No! Come back here, no! This is honestly one of the hardest bosses just for the simple fact of the stupid teleporting gimmick, which I hate to death. Oh, oh see? Blindside. Yeah. <laughs> you stupid bitch! <laughs> Something like that. I was just chillaxed into my room. Oh, <laughs> I was. See, uh, speaking of which, in between the episode, the, the series, Thomas has gotten me to watch uh, Helsing Ultimate Abridged, and it's absolutely great. I love this series. Come on, yes, he's down. Die, you stupid gnome. He doesn't have balls. That's why he's playing for you. I have big balls. And you've got big balls. He's, He's got, got big balls. balls and she's, she's got big, big balls. balls. She's oh hey. Mm -hmm. Hey now, that's not cool. What? Okay, moving on to the next area. Who should? Okay, so we got. Okay, so Kimberly and Billy are done. He's a black guy. Zach. Mm -hmm. I think I were leaving Jason for last. Right? Yeah. Okay, figured. Okay, actually this. This boss coming up is actually another one of my favorite bosses from the series. Uh, let's, I'll, I'll leave a surprise for you. Bye! Be a muddy putty. It'd be a, be a baby putty. Oh, Thomas, uh, trivia question for you. You ready? Yep. What is the fighting style that Zack created in the series? Hip hop. There's another. There's another one to it. Hip hop what? I forget. But I remember he called it hip hop left or something like that. Hip hop Aikido. Yeah. He's yeah. like, see, I do it, just half of it. Yeah. Which, uh, you know, would be really cool. And I don't. I haven't watched all of the Power Ranger series, so I couldn't really say. Uh huh. It'd be really cool if they had a ranger that was into capoeira fighting. Which was like, uh, you know, kind of like Hip Hop Aikido, like yeah. dancing fighting. Kind of like uh, Eddie Gordo from Tekken. Mm -hmm. Pepper Spider Bob. No, he just, he, he pooped it. <laughs> you know what's really cool? I would like to create my own ranger suit one day. I am. Well, like, legit, like my own concept of. Dude, those were studios. If you do anything, do them. Yeah, well, I don't know if I'd actually turn it into a suit or, like, an actual coin or anything like that. So, I'm not 100% sure, but, uh, if I did, the color would be black, and my Zord would be a crow. Would be awesome. And my power weapon would be a sight. Yeah, it would be. Kind of like the death I don't, I don't know what exactly, like, what team it'd be a part of, or what the armor or helmet would look like, or anything like that, but... I don't know, it's just something I tossed around in my head a little bit, and it's like, this would be kind of cool. Oh, by the way, do you remember us talking about the Zords? It would be cool if, um, the Tiger Sword and the Dragon Sword fused. Ooh, that would be really cool. Alright. Even even though I will say that it is technically impossible. Nope. How so? They've got designer Zord. They huh? are going to be interchangeable parts and everything for the new Dragon Sword. No, I mean, like, in the actual series. Oh, yeah, but they're actually talking about the new uh, Bandai Sword Code Comic Con, San Diego Comic Con, and then it's actually able to be fused with the Dragon's Sword, the Tiger Sword. That would be really cool. Okay, here's the villain. Eyeballs! Mm-hmm. You remember him? Mm-hmm. Mastodon, Lion, Thunder Sword, Power! 
This is before, this is before the Thunder Sword power. Oh. You gotta remember, Tommy's not here, so how could they have the Thunder Sword powers? No! <laughs> Next time on Two Birds and Sissy, Zach continues to crawl through the sewers, sewers, and maybe no three birds and sissy. I keep forgetting that. <laughs>